I am trying to learn how to not learn how to use this because I know how to use it but to, to actually use it to not be able to you know have to do that movement but yeah it's so good because you know when I press it here I know that the time it takes to take the hand back it's the time it takes for it to start and then I can start talking but yeah that's not your problem uh, and if I leave this on and then film everything and then bye <laughs> then it won't work so yeah well let's do that and yeah never mind uh, today I thought we were going to try this one and I have forgotten to lock the light. Oh, I hope this year will be a year with better, better quality. But this is um, an eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bay, their own brand. And I should have looked this up before because now I look kind of stupid. But I don't know why it's called this. Probably all of you will know. But yeah, so it's called that. And I uh, picked up one of the colorful ones, obviously. And I took the one that is called Just Brights. And it's the one with both shimmers and mattes in it. Because I thought there were some cool colors. Sorry. Oh, my eyes. Should I really do an eye look today? I don't know. But yeah. The last time I was in a filming mood, my battery died on my phone. So yeah, I hope it will work better today. But yeah, I thought we were going to do a look with this palette. And maybe I should swatch the shadows before. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I just ate. And I ate too much. So I feel kind of... Just so you know. But yeah, we have Candid Candy Floss. And it's... A shimmer, a very uh, light peach, I think you could say. You may not even see it. I'm doing this kind of quickly. And then we have Tutti Frutti, which is a matte, peach matte. Wasn't this this palette? Yeah. It's, it doesn't smell that much right now, that's why I didn't notice it, but when I open it, it just smells like, you know, those packaging that are a little bit cheaper. Why do I smell it? Blah. Stupid. Of course we need some of these. And then we have Surreal Strawberry. And it's a uh, true red, I would call it. Really pigmented, actually. There are one, two, three, four, four mattes and five shimmers. And there are, I think it's more the shimmers that are dark, actually. Sorry, I'm almost done. Just cleaning off my hand. <sighs> Get off. Ah, uh, I'm Okay. Yeah, and then we have heat wave, which is a bright orange. <sighs> A matte, bright orange. Why? Always. Always. Then we have Lemonade, which is a shimmery yellow. Almost like a pale gold, but it is a yellow. Oh, straight. <laughs> and then we have a matte green called Granny Smith. That one I kind of like. They're very, not so dry, but they're not very creamy mattes either. They are, you know, the comfortable ones. Yeah. And then we have Lagoon, which is this blue that I love. Which are in, 
you know, the Sueva palette, I show you the, what is it called, eclectic, but what do you Eclectic eyes and in the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Simple Eyes, it looks like that. Yeah, this is more turquoise, I hate that word, than the other ones, but yeah, you get the picture. And then we have, and it, it was called Lagoon. Then we have Blue Vibes, which is a blue... Is this a matte? No. It's ah, it's more like a satin one. Because it feels like a matte, but there are shimmer in it. But it performs more like a matte, actually. Maybe that is a matte. It just looked like a shimmer. Maybe there are five mattes. Doesn't say here, does it? No. Never mind. I think you can use that as a matte. It may be a satin, but yeah. And then we have amethyst, which is a purple shimmer. It feels like the types of shimmers that will get hard pan, but you know, you never know. So here are the shades in this one. I, I thought it was kind of annoying when they released them because, you know, when you look at them quickly, it looks like there are the same shades in every one of them. If you go in the, you know, there was some berry tones and some, was the other one neutrals? No. There's a dog barking. Usually Goomba starts barking as well. No, no. Like that. Gummal. Gumilla. Mamma, can we put that in the morning sometimes, Tion? Yes, yes, yes. What's it doing, Mr. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, the thing I was saying that they look all the same, but then you look. Uh, closer and you see that there are different colors and they have different names but it's so frustrating because in some of the palettes there are no uh, shades that are duplicates I think but in some there are and if you compare it to they released I think a 12 pan 16 pan was it as well and there are some also that uh, is the same and some look the same so it's kind of a kind of annoying to have to look into how many shades you get duplicates of if you wanted to buy them all maybe that's only me thinking about things like that but yeah and since I have already started filming I am going to do my eyes first um, like I usually don't why is this loose? But now I thought I was going to do it. And now there's a baby crying in the background. Yeah. I'm just taking my paint pot in Paintly from MAC. You have seen it. But you know, if you do one video without it, then everyone will point it out. What are you using? And I don't write down in this, the, the description <laughs> what I'm using because, you know, I don't think... I like when people do it because you don't have to ask them and they don't get a lot of questions. But I don't get a lot of questions. Um, so, I don't see the point. If I do get a lot of questions suddenly, then maybe I will. But it doesn't look like people read the description either way. So, that's why I don't have a lot of information down there. But you can find my Instagram account down there. And I will be doing a Q&A because I have gotten a lot of questions. Both on my Instagram and um, below in some videos so if you have questions then ask them I will not do it right now but I will do it in a near nearby future can you, can you say it like that what? and I used my piggy sauce I have to look into if I have the other ones 
Yeah, what are we going to do? It seems like either I do a sunset look, and by that I mean I use yellow, reds, and oranges, and maybe pinks. Uh, and I always do it the same way, or I do a green look. But I just like those kinds of colors, and in this one, you know, most of the mattes are that matte, that is a matte, that is a matte. The green one is a matte, and that is the one that are, you know, in the middle. So I don't know. Maybe we can do a, a red green or whatever. We, we'll try something out. Let's start with the... No, I don't have that. I would have liked to start with a lighter color. But now we're, we're going to use this. I'm taking the Tutti Frutti shade. That one. And then we'll take a fluffier brush. Oh, there is so much chaos over here. Like I said, there's a baby crying in the background. My neighbors have not been my favorite this weekend, I can tell you. And it really bugs me, you know, are, are the walls that thin? Then they will probably hear me when I'm doing stuff that I don't appreciate at all. Now I didn't concentrate when I put on my primer, so now I'm wondering if I got primer up here because it looked a little patchy over here. It's probably because of the primer, so we'll ignore that. There is not a lot of kick up. And as usually, as usual, <laughs> I have picked up the brush that is scratching me. I can't understand how I always take this wrong brush. Maybe I should have taken orange instead. Well, never mind, blah, blah, blah. I don't want this to be that intense. Blend are really good on that eye at least. Maybe it was just this eye that I put on too much or didn't take the primer that good because it looks like it's more it's more dark on this side. I have nothing on this, I'm just Using it to buff it out. Like that. And then I think I'm going to take the Surreal Strawberry. The red one. Oh, it picked up a lot. And put it over here. I'm just trying this out, so I don't know how this will look in the end, but we'll try it like that. I'm not blending too, too much. I'm just packing it on a bit. On the eye, it looks really... It looks um, a lot like the other shade I used. It looks so weird. It's like the color has another f color over here. Well, we'll cover that up later. Now I just want to take that on. And I don't want to clean my brush all the time. So we take the same brush, I think. Yes, and take the green. Can you hear the baby crying? I wonder if they are trying out that technique, you know, let him cry so he will learn. You 
if you hear it I'm sorry there's a lot more kick up in this color I can tell you but oh that's pigment I should have put that over there instead must be my neighbors that are behind this wall what would that be okay yeah. no information that is useful to you <laughs> I don't have a lot to talk about today because the only things I'm thinking about are some things that I'm going to talk about in what I hope to be some more videos that I record today and then I don't want to talk about them because then you will hear it twice. Yes. So now I'm just putting on the Granny Smith one. I like this shade of green actually. But you know it's hard to work with greens now that you have worked with the Paulina palette. It's, is it an illusion? Sorry, I know that this is annoying for you. It's, I must have gotten some other color uh, on the brush or something because it's so much darker here. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. But so far I like it. There's nothing wrong. We'll see. Now I I don't put on um, eyeshadow the way I normally do because usually I have one um, transition. Why is that hard to say today? I have one transition transition shade. Oh my god! Oh, I strained my. Yeah, uh, and then I have a darker one, and then I put even darker in the outer and you know shimmer and so on but now I want to I I just got a feeling that this these shadows wouldn't go so well you know if I did all red and then put the green I don't think that will work so that's why I'm doing this technique because I think that will work better but that's just me assuming things so I don't know maybe I should have just tried it but I don't feel like Having to do it all over again. Like that. That is the green one. But silence that child. Oh my god. I'm sorry all of you people out there with children. But if you take offense. But I'm just. You know if Gumval is start to bark i'm not sitting here like oh he will bark till he's finished because you know that that doesn't help anybody like that oh you can see green and red now i want to have some shimmers yes is that a new brush i bought no Sorry, I'm all over the place. It's such Sorry, I'm just feeling how it how feeling how it feels. Oh my god, please edit this out Jessica, please do Where is my brush? I don't even remember what we were talking about. Yeah, by the way, I'm not pleased with... I know, I love this brush and I've talked about it before. Uh, it's really good to put on shimmery eyeshadow. But I would really like to have like a really flat one as well, like this. But that is not this big and that has more short straws over here. You are not calling it straws. Bristles? I don't know. But... I can't find any good packing on brushes so if you have any suggestions they could be cheap they can be expensive I don't care but I would just love to have some good packing brushes that are you know not too small not too big but you know if you want to have two or three if you have if you want to have more than one shade on your lid that kind 
I hope you get what I mean. Then I would love it if there were a dark shimmery green now, but there isn't. So let's take the blue. Maybe I can take this. Let's try it without any spray. Because it's not a shimmery shimmer. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't do my makeup before. I'm actually wanting to use this up, so let's try this spray. There's a lot of fall, fall, fallout. <laughs> fallout. I just realized that I wanted to have the yellow also, but then it would be red, green, blue, yellow, and I'm not feeling that right now. Let's do it like that. And you know, this is not a real shimmer, it's more like a satin, that's why it's not that blinding. I will have the other blue I think I need a mirror closer maybe that brush wasn't so good for that should I try it? it's so big I don't want to use it but it doesn't stick on my skin on this side that's really weird because it worked fine here that's really weird that is so weird doesn't matter if I try it with or without the wet brush how did I get it to stick over there please don't make me use my finger that works a little better okay I don't get this shade I think you're supposed to use it as a matte but it really doesn't look like one And now I have to take more of the green because I have, I can see that it has faded over here. Now let's cover this up with the other shimmery shade that I have very high hopes for. I think the mattes are okay, but I think it's kind of annoying that there are not many the shades that go with the, of course you can I don't mean go like oh they have to be the same but you know the shimmery shades are the blue and purple and the matte shades are the reds and the pinks and the green and there is no other green so there are not many colors that you know automatically will match mm, maybe the peach shade should I use the peak? No, now I have decided to use the turquoise one. Ah, come on. It's not easy to pick up the shimmers, I can tell you. Should I try another brush? Let's try this brush. Sometimes it's just a brush. I won't tell you what I just did. But now I'm getting annoyed, so let's take the finger. Oh, that worked a lot better. 
hate where you have to use the finger and it's not you know certain shades they are obvious that you have to use a finger or something like that but these are normal shimmer shades you shouldn't have to use that Special. <laughs> now I'm talking Swedish especially when you have you know fat fingers like I have it's really hard to get a precise application and now I have it where I should... don't get annoyed and I already see that we are getting hard pan in this shade which I was suspecting when I swatched it and it was before I used my finger and I used the brush on the place where I didn't put in my finger before so you don't have to worry about that Now I'm thinking, oh, how did I get eyeshadow over here? It didn't stick to my eye, but it sticks to my table. And now I think I will have to save this look a bit. So I'm taking more of the Swill Strawberry. that and it obviously turns a little purple because there is blue over here now like for example I'm thinking oh I wish I had a matte blue or I wish I had a shimmer green or you know and then you realize that you that you're missing colors And I usually don't say that. But you know when there are no obvious companion to each shade. Now I'm glad I also didn't do my eyeshadow the way I normally do. Because I can see now that when I... I know that there are different shades. But some shades don't muddy up either way. But when I try to blend them together they just turn brown and that's not a color I like some shades you know blend together really nice now I'm thinking oh where is it do I have a shade in here that can help I'm going into my certified tropical wonders palette if you are wondering what I'm doing I'm just taking the coast shade, which is a blue. Try to mend this. And that looked better right away. <laughs> Should I take the orange? I'm just trying out because I don't like this look at all. So now I'm just trying out things. And I know it will look different when I put on mascara and everything, but you know, this just looks a bit crazy. Like that. And then I will try. This is why I don't, don't do tutorials, because I have an idea, and when I see that it doesn't look good, then I just try to do different things. And cover it up. Do you know what? I think this will be a first, but I think I will actually remove this. And try to do a basic look with that palette. I think I will do that. 
because it wouldn't be fair because now I've used a lot of shades from the certified palette and then I think I will just do a basic look. I'll be back. Now I'm back again and I've taken off the makeup. Now I'm glad I didn't do my face makeup because then it would just be so annoying. But um, my eyes sting a little bit because I have to take the makeup off with the makeup wipes that I have here. Usually I only use the Body Shop makeup remover because I have so sensitive eyes and my eyes kind of burn a little bit right now. But no. But yeah, actually, we now we're going to do just a basic look because I think, yeah, yeah, just leave it at that. So I will take that one in the crease, that one to deepen up the crease, and maybe some orange as well, and then that on the lid. Let's see how that works. And of course, I've forgotten put on this now we can focus so we have it all over god this will be a long video if i take the other look yeah but it's better to show you that was a disaster it couldn't be saved they didn't go well into each other if they weren't of the same color and don't tell me that Oh, you know, when you mix a blue and a red, it will turn purple. Yeah, but this didn't turn purple, it just turned to mud. And most good eyeshadows, you can blend a bit so you know that they will go into each other a little bit without turning to shit. Like that. Like that. So let's try it again. Which brush is it? Let's take this. I think I would take the. No, I would take the peach in the crease like I did the last time. So this is the same step as the other look. I think I got too controversial, I was going to say, but too excited to use different colors. But I really think. I don't have a problem mixing shades and colors and I can use pretty much any palette to, you know, I don't need to have two palettes. I can do a look with just one palette usually and you can do it with this obviously, but there are so many shades missing. It's like they took one shade from... I don't know how to explain it, but you know, they took one shade from one palette and it doesn't go very well with the other shades. Uh, and the only shades they go well with are either the wrong formula or... Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's weird. The only colors that actually go automatically good together are the ones I'm going to use right now but you usually could do a red and a green and a blue and a green and so on but you don't have enough shades I, I hope you know what I mean without me sounding like I hate when people say oh you can't do a, a complete look or an everyday look and you can't do that in the crease and blah 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 that is not what I'm saying and I hope you know what I mean but we are going to do just a basic look and now it looks much better because now I actually did put primer on all the way I think and then we'll take the red surreal strawberry now I'm being a bit quicker because now I actually know what I'm going to do And like I said, this one looks a lot darker in the pan than it is on the eye. God, my eyes hurt from taking the makeup off before. Like that. What is that? Didn't I remove it all? Yeah. I usually don't like buying, you know, 
brands that are made by the store like you know Sephora's own brand or like now beauty base own beauty base own brand and so on because I don't know they are usually not that good they have some products that are good but you always have high expectations but because you know they should know but they usually aren't very good but now that they release these smaller ones I was like I have to try them because they don't cost a lot but that is also an indicator you know I don't know we'll see so far this has worked out fine oh let's take some of the peach shade because th these two shades look kind of the same like that and then I think I'm just going to take a little bit of the orange will I destroy it all man and put here oh that was really nice a little more neon orange than it looks in the pan Why doesn't it look the same? <laughs> Have a night time. I'm just talking a lot of nonsense in this video. Well, I usually do, but you know. <sighs> Sorry, I have to look. How can it look so different? I'm done with that so let's take the peach shimmer and oh god let's hope it's better than the other one I can look into the turquoise one and I don't know if you can see but it's like you know hard panning that's a word already so let's take the peach candied candy floss better but it's the thing that you know you have to dig into the shade so many times to get anything I think a good shimmer you just take take a lot put it on and then you take another round to you know intensify it not take you know 10 <sighs> 10 dips in the eyeshadow And it looks a little bit more pink. Go yeah. you can go legger day. You can barely see it. God, I'm digging into it right now. That's a little bit better. Considering how much I just dug into this shade, there would it would should be covering my whole lid but it doesn't now I'm tired of it so I'm taking my finger okay I don't like shimmers that you have to work with that much it should be a shimmer that Either you tell people you have to use your finger and then you use your finger and it's fine and it doesn't get hard pan. There are a lot of shades like that. Or you should take a brush. It's okay if you have to spray it because you usually have to do that. But you take it and it looks kind of full on right away. And maybe you have to build it up a little bit but this is just ridiculous you know. Then we take so um excited. This is a neutral look for me. I can tell you. I'm taking a little bit of the orange. What was it called? Heat wave. Like that. 
then we are going to take it under the eye and if I take the reds I will have to put in an eyeliner or an eye pen because you know if you take red or pink and even purple sometimes under the eye you will probably look sick so let's take the orange I'm not in a phase where I use eye pens a lot I usually uh, no I used to do it a lot um, I will fix that later. Uh, but now I have not done that. Maybe it will come to me again, but not right now. It looks red, more red on this. <sighs> yeah. Let's take the shimmer shade again. Now I'm doing this with a pointy brush. better kind of can you tell that I'm annoyed <laughs> oh god how bad lightning it got suddenly and you're like it's been bad lightning the whole video well sorry like that. Well, okay, I'm done with this. Now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and see how it looks when I'm done with that. And then I will come back and talk about it a bit. So, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Now I'm back. And yeah, I've done my makeup and I don't know, I have had this problem, I talked about this before, but I can't get any foundation to look good around my nose and up here. It looks really terrible if you are up close. And yeah, I will just, I will have to try to do something with my skincare or something because now I've tried different primers and the foundations that usually works and it's not better, but yeah. That was not what we were going to talk about. Uh, I can tell you right now that I think this eye look looks okay. It's a neutral look for me. Um, uh, by the way, it's been a while. Uh, my dad called anyway. First my brother called and then my dad called and my dad came over to pick up some things and yeah so it's been a while so I have already started to get the problem that I always get. It doesn't matter what I do. Uh, my eyes always water up or start watering I don't know and it's always this eye that are the worst and I said before I can leave you no watering up here because you can just take it away but if it Start watering up here. For the, the first thing is your your inner corner highlight will disappear, and then it goes up and mess up. I don't know if you can see it because this is a very light shadow, but it messes up the eyeshadow here. And I even, you know, taken on more. I don't think you can see it, but it gets patchy and removes it, and it gets a line. So it already started doing that, but that has nothing to do with the eyeshadow because that happens to me even without makeup so I don't know why just stupid uh, yeah but I kind of like this eye look but I must say that I am not a big fan of this palette so far this is a first impression and those can change <laughs> but I think it took too much work to get just a basic look done because you have to dip in a lot of times to get color there's not a lot of kick up so maybe that's why but yeah I don't know and I don't think they blend very well and the colors look a bit different on my eye but that's not the palette fault but I don't usually get that problem and yeah the mattes the mattes are okay I can tell you that. I can work with those mattes if there were better shimmers. 
but the shimmers oh my god I've tried I tried three of the shimmers and two of them I can already see hard pen in because I had to use my finger to get anything off I sprayed uh, you I didn't spray in the pan I, I know how to use an eyeshadow but um, I had to you know dip in and put it on and spray and so many times that I got so frustrated that I had to use my finger and it didn't pick up a lot even even when I use my finger it doesn't look very special right now either and now I'm just annoyed about this stupid eye let's take on some more yeah um so I don't like the shimmers and the shimmers I have used are this one and this one and I also used a bit of this satin color and it was like you know it doesn't show up like a shimmer but it doesn't work as a matte because it doesn't show up either uh, and I'm just guessing because it looks like the yellow and the purple are the same type of formula so I'm guessing I would have the same problem with those and if it's a yellow it will be very hard to make it show up but I could be wrong I haven't tried them uh, and they didn't mix so well together I have talked about this in because you will probably have seen me fail first <laughs> and then do this basic look so this will be a long video uh, but yeah so the mattes I can live with they are not my favorite mattes uh, but the shimmers are the type of shimmers that I don't like at all so of course I will try to you know this is a first impression it's not a review but right now there is nothing that makes me want to try it again because I didn't like the color combination in those type of finishes they have in this either so it's not like you know the feral palette or the LA splash uh, horror palette because those I really want to work because they are pretty colors and so on and I want them to work. This is, you know, I don't care. And it was very cheap. I don't know, was it like $10 maybe or something like that. And I think you get what you pay for. Uh, but I actually think Makeup Revolution, some of their palettes that are like that are still better than, than this. Considering the shimmers at least. So yeah, uh, not very impressed. I may reach for it for this green because I think it's a pretty green, but I think I have dupes of that somewhere as well. So yeah, that was what I was going to say. I will keep this look on and do some more videos, but yeah, it's nothing fancy. And I did that on purpose just to see if you can do a basic look, but as soon as you bring in the shimmers, uh, hustle yeah so that's what was I was going to say I will not be buying any more of these palettes and that also makes me think of wait uh, think of the palettes they Beauty Bay did in collaboration with they first did with someone I don't know and then they did with some other person I don't know and I think maybe they would be in the same quality I don't know I don't know I'm just very it will take a lot for me to try more from this brand as I'm feeling right now maybe I will try this in a couple days and think it's amazing I seriously doubt it but yeah so this was a long shot and yeah okay now I will try to do some other videos. And if you wonder what I have on my lips, it's Lime Crime. And it's the color MILF. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty color. It's from, you know, the packaging that looks like a cigarette pack. Kind of iffy on that, but there were pretty shades, so yeah. Yeah, no, no more talking in this video. I'm so bored with it already. <laughs> uh, so yeah, bye and thank you for watching. See, now, now, didn't work. Why is there an on-off button if it doesn't matter?